My name's Steve Blacknell, I'm 55 years old. I'm a recovering male bulimic. I first became bulimic in 1976. I'm now recovered for about 20 years. I think the first seeds were sown in around 1974 and uh, I was a big sort of ex-rugby player, not a big hairy thing, but, uh, but kind of chunky. And I managed to attract uh, slight, um, sort of thin women. One day, one woman said to me, you're the fattest guy I'd ever been out with. And the seed was sown. There came a time, I think it's about 1980, um, I made the transition from a record company rep to being a TV presenter. And that was a turning point, because they say TV puts eight pounds on you, and you don't tell a bulimic that. And it was just one day in Kensington, I saw and looked down at my prawn cocktail, I thought, hmm, I'll eat that, but no, no, no. I got rid of it, then I got rid of my main course, my dessert, followed up with a, a stonkily huge quadruple brandy, and I thought, job done. No, oh, look, I weighed myself while I got in, this is fantastic. I could eat, I could drink with everyone, and look at me, I didn't put on any weight. This was fantastic, but not really. My now wife, Maggie, uh, we were living as chums then in North London and um, I was going through this thing about not eating all day and I'd, I'd get up and sleep eat and she often found me wedged into the serving hatch from the kitchen into, into the kitchen trying to get through to eat something in the middle of the night. She would then uh, padlock the serving hatch and then find me cowering over and saying Maggie where's the key, where's the key in the middle of the night. She eventually gave up. We laugh about it now but that's pretty sad. Um, I still do eat in the night, it's, a, it's, a, it's an odd thing because somehow you're allowed because you haven't got people around you and it's okay to eat on your own. But back then, back then it, was, uh, it was bad but the good thing was that I could talk to Maggie about it and she probably saved me, saved me well. The thing about addiction is I guess they never ever really go. They say that uh, an alcoholic takes each day at a time, cigarette users I guess. I suppose I take it every day at a time, but the thing is I still can't eat big meals in front of people. I still find it really, really hard. My digestive tract is up the kibosh. It's absolutely screwed. So, and I think the thing to say is that even if someone looks good on the outside, that doesn't mean to say that they're not rotting away inside. I think there's a lot of old rubbish talked about it being a women's disease. I think it's a person's disease. I'm just not sure whether it's harder for a chap just to get out of, the, out of the door and go to a support group and say, look at me, I'm a bulimic. I throw my food up. For my money though, nothing beats BEAT, which is the eating disorder organisation that I'm a volunteer for. And uh, I talk not about bulimia, but about myself and what I went through in the hope that it can help someone out there. But the BEAT people are phenomenal. Chaps at home, Men, if you're watching this, there is hope. Don't just sit there. You know, there are people out there. And when you talk to them, they'll say, oh, really, is that all it is? It's big because you build it up. It is Vesuvius effect in you. There is help out there, and there is light at the end of the tunnel.